It's another very early morning here on Swirl. It's just before seven, I believe, and I'm just about to start pulling anchor, anchors. This uh, anchorage has been a bit breezy, so we actually have two out. You can pull those, and then this is our last big sail to get down towards Seattle. We're actually gonna be uh, sailing down to Bainbridge today and stay there for the next two nights, and then it'll only be about an hour and a half pop over to our marina. So, this is the last big push, but this anchorage has been not the most comfortable, and so we're doing this one on a little less sleep than normal. Granted, not a hard anchorage to sail off of. We were just tucked into the lee of this island, but that's the first time I've ever sailed off anchor. That was kind of satisfying. Um, I guess I didn't truly like, sail off anchor. I like got the anchor up and we were just drifting. And uh, instead of using the engine, just turned it off and pulled the sail up and uh, off we off we go. As soon as I said, you know, sailed off anchor and whatnot, basically our wind went away and I'm probably gonna have to turn the engine on. So, it's a ten and a half hour sail if we average four knots. I don't really want it to take too much longer than that. get to fly a spinnaker very often and this is like what are we doing three knots <laughs> it's something moving faster with it than without it <laughs> so you should go pull the bag these old style uh launching bags i'm not i'm not sure exactly what people's complaints are about them but this one's always worked great for us. After a day of mostly motor sailing, we're finally getting to just properly sail again, which is really nice. Uh, and we can see Seattle, which is our final destination here at the end of the week. Um, we're gonna have to hide out somewhere, but I can see the forest of masts. That is Shoal Shoal Harbor where I got Swirl from about a year and almost a half ago. And since leaving Seattle, this is the first time I've been back in view of uh, her original home. So, and that, uh, that marina was her home for many, many years, uh, long before I bought her 
um, long before I was even born. Uh, the people who originally owned and raced this boat kept her there. She's been there for a very long time. So pleasant but part of what that means is that every I don't know week and a half fish we have to uh, come over to land somewhere and um, split wood These compressed logs work quite well. And split really easily with a uh, screwdriver and a mallet. Today, after a nice little walk that I just went on, I think it's time to do some much neglected maintenance. We need to do the first oil change on our new engine. Um, I'm supposed to do the first oil change after uh, 100 hours, and we're right about at that point. Which is crazy. We only bought it four or five weeks ago. Time flies. <laughs> And our view to forward is just stunning of the Seattle skyline. We get to just uh, sail right to that. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back to them Barefoot No mistake, Eric 
kept me late We spent summers catching fireflies And winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer Tight. Yeah, but it's super deep all the way. Yeehaw! Welcome to our very expensive marina. Well, we just arrived and tied up in Seattle. A little baby boat in such a big city. And uh, we are pretty much out, out of food. So first stop was to walk to Pike Place Market to fill up on fresh veggies. Now I have a bag full of fresh veg. Yeah, I'm gonna go make some lunch.